game for the aristocratic, elite, the privileged, and that's just the horses. But arriving now is the royal coach, followed by the guests of honor, the Ratty! <laughs> The Royals, not taking any chances, have brought their own carpet with them. And they're off! There goes Her Majesty, closely followed by Sebastian Coe. Disappointed at not being chosen for the Olympics, is determined to show what he can do. Meanwhile, as Tatty wonders why Aunt Hattie is knitting the back of an elephant, the Fatty Brothers are up to their usual horseplay. They borrowed the costume from Les Dawson, who's still inside, hiding from his mother-in-law. Look at that! The back of an elephant makes a perfect pair of jodhpurs, just right for playing polo in. Now she's going to make an omelette. No, she isn't. It's a helmet. All he needs now is a peanut on a knitting needle, and he'll pass for anything except a polo player. But that's the one thing he's determined to be. As the players limber up for the next chucker, Tatty waits patiently for a 37 bus. And they're off! Tatty is immediately caught up in the hurly-burly of the game. Tatty's played a blinder. He hopes he's impressed the royals. But they're more interested in their game of space invaders. Baby Batty is available for weddings, office parties, and bar mitzvahs, but only during Ramadan, as they don't need anything and they won't need the plates. Meanwhile, things are hotting up in the royal enclosure. Temples are getting frayed. Don't worry, folks. Aunt Hattie is determined to keep Baby Batty's act clean. Back at the royal enclosure, there's a nasty outbreak of arm wrestling. In the car park, Uncle Matty watches helplessly as the Fatty Brothers blow up a balloon. Wild horses would not drag it out of him that he was writing Dennis Thatch's memoirs. The Fatty Brothers have far more ambitious plans for Uncle Matty. He's part of the Ratty Space Program. If you're watching this program on satellite, do not adjust your set. Back at the polo, one of the horses has been sent off for bad language to the referee. His Royal Highness has been awarded a penalty and a weekend partner with Eric Sykes. And he's hit it, but he's sliced it wide. If he could have scored, it would have meant the championship. But Tatty, in his yeoman of the guard's costume, bravely heads the ball back to the prince. And it's a goal! There could be an OBE in this for him, but it's Tatty's dream time! Tatty found himself standing in Buckingham Palace. Just then, a small door opened. Tatty's curiosity got the better of him. Tatty found himself in one of the state rooms where a group of people were queuing up for the obes. He decided to join the queue because of his exploits on the polo field. As Tatty closed his eyes, the queue moved off. When he opened his eyes, he was on his own. And as he looked round, he realized the only decoration he would get was the job of decorating the hall. Tatty's heart was broken. Back at the polo pitch, Tatty wondered where he could get a sandwich. While Aunt Hattie polished some glasses for the catering manager. Uncle Matty, not convinced that a nod's as good as a wink to the blind horse, decided to stand still for charity and do a sponsored absolutely nothing at all. But he's having trouble doing it. He's got it right now, and he's just raised, wait for it, three and fourpence. 